Well, one last thing about the uh, ITT MC-10. Now, I know some of you out there were after a look at the turntable in more depth, and uh, when I did the first video on this, I couldn't demonstrate it because I hadn't got the stylus. Now, uh, Adam wanted me originally to see if it was possible to fit this with a BSR cartridge, an SC12M or SC12H perhaps, which ITT had used in earlier models. But this is quite a late model and uh, it's made in the very late 70s. And being an ITT, I thought it might just bring a little surprise on us. And I had a feeling, somehow, that this might be fitted with a magnetic cartridge. And uh, if it is, there'll be an equalisation circuit in there. Because what they do when they press a vinyl record, record a vinyl record, they reduce the bass somewhat. Because if they didn't, the needle might well jump out of the groove, literally. And they boost the treble. And the equalisation circuit then corrects all this so that what you hear out of the amplifier is more or less right. Now, a kit that uses ceramic pickups doesn't generally have that. It's uh, not necessary. It's got a different sort of, uh, well, I suppose you'd call it performance range. So, uh, obviously, the use of a ceramic pickup was out because quite apart from anything else, they put out quite a high signal compared to the magnetic type or moving coil so no we couldn't do that and uh, when I look this up and uh, thanks to those of you who uh, have sent me as well I found this set is fitted with an audio technica cartridge no less it's obviously a BSR motorboard isn't it you can see it quite clearly it's a rather stylish one I have to say but uh, it is a BSR it's still got the suspension screws here and there. And if you ever transport anything with a turntable like this, and it doesn't matter if it's an old record player, music centre, stereogram, radiogram, console, call it what you will, for heaven's sakes, tighten these screws down because the deck is spring-loaded. And if it's bouncing around everywhere, the chances are something will break or get out of alignment or adjustment or whatever, and then it won't play. Um, we don't want all that rubbish, do we? You know? This one actually plays 78s, and usually for quite a late music centre, and you had to have a different needle to do that, because uh, there's an LP and 45 needle, and then there was a 78 needle. Rather like some crapper phones are today, but uh, I wonder how many people actually bother to change the needle or know you need it and then bugger up their records. <laughs> it's nice. Well, I suppose you could say it serves them right for buying such a contraption. <laughs> you can forgive me. I mean, that was uh, given to me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, enough of me waffling on. See what this thing does. This here deck was my deck of choice, actually. If I ever got an Amstrad tower system presented to me with one of those dreadful, crappy, latterly made in Brazil decks, where the speed selector switch was just a wiper on the circuit board and you could never get them to run properly, because the fixing centres were the same, you could throw the wretched thing away and put one of these in. And you either kept the cartridge that had come with it, if it was the Amstrad board, or if it was an earlier one like mine, it was an SC12M. So uh, you just use that instead. And you might even find that the donor set, because you used to find them on the dump, and believe it or not, in those days, had one in it. Anyway, enough. Here we go.
And I have to say, that does sound very nice indeed. Uh, full marks for ITT for uh, selecting this particular model. Hey. The automatic arm return system works beautifully on this. And this was another thing that those uh, little old tower systems sometimes didn't have. So, uh, for the first time ever, the customer would have a machine that could play 78s if they wanted, and uh, if they did want, I'd fit a flip-over stylus in it, so that uh, they could do so. But, uh, yeah, this is a very nice machine indeed. Um, this does actually make a difference, this counterbalance weight. It's been set up, and it plays beautifully, so I've left well alone. It's, uh, if it works, leave well alone. <laughs> With regards to that sort of thing, the electro machine control is nicht für mitten grabben and finger poking by the Scheidskoffen. Otherwise, it's possible schnappen the Sprigenberg, blown fuse, and popping cork amid Spitzensbarken and shocking selfen. So, das cotton picking touristum and rubber necken must keep in das cotton picking mit in the pocket to relax and watch and das view lampen. As I'm sure they never said Germany. Anyway, see you soon.